Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, a happy Friday to you all. Hopefully your week is wrapping up nicely, or if you're watching this at any other point in the week, hopefully you're having a great day nonetheless. This is a very exciting comeback for me to check out. Admittedly, this is still a pre-release, but I'm very excited nonetheless, because I get to jump on board with TWS again. Um, their debut at the beginning of the year this year, Plot Twist, took the Korean music scene by storm. In fact, it got so big that I actually heard it in Japan at some point. I, I don't, they've never promoted it in Japan. And yet I heard it just on the department store radio. That's how big it got. That was really cool to me. I mean, you know, it's not as far away as England or America, but that's still very cool, you know? And with good reason, because Plot Twist was terrific. And now they are back with a pre-release for their upcoming... I don't know what the album size is, but... They have brand new music coming up here soon, pretty close. And we got a pre-release titled Hey Hey, which is actually missing an exclamation point. Now it's correct. Hey Hey. Two exclamation points. One for each Hey. Very important. And I don't know what to expect. I am kind of hoping we get something similar along the lines of Plot Twist. Not like, I don't want Plot Twist 2.0, but I want something that's light, bright, and fun. And for me... TWS this year are doing what the wind did for me last year. They had the bright, youthful, fun, poppy sound. TWS, off of their first release, very much established that, so I really hope we get a continuation of that. But there's only one way to find out. We're gonna find out, shall we? Here we go! I've just noticed that I need to update that intro for a couple of groups, but that's besides the point. We are here for TWS. I already like the fact that the MV is in, it's not 4-3, but it's 14 by 9, 13 by 9, something like that. It's not quite 4-3, because I think the black bars would probably go to around here for 4-3, but you know what? I gotta stop waffling about unnecessary things. Let's listen to some music, shall we? Here we go! They might be cooking already, hold on. I already like where this is going. It's snappy. It's poppy. And I reckon it's probably gonna get brighter. Oh, we're getting all the cuddly animals. Oh, this is a long build. It's fast, it's bright, it's poppy. I'm so here for it. And you know, it's got a hint of summariness to it. And we're already... I'm invested. Also, I'm noticing, just off of some of the TWS stuff that I've seen, they like to incorporate choreo pretty heavily into their MPs. That's cool. Cause it's like, whenever there's choreo, it's like up close choreo. The We Don't Stop shouts is really cool too. I reckon live, the fan chance for this would go crazy. That 
summery electric guitar vibe paired with just the paciness and the brightness is sublime. Pink the harmonies one time too. Oh, that was cool. That was really cool. I like that. Oh, post chorus, hello. Stop. Is their upcoming release going to be very summer based? Because if it is, I'm sold already. I haven't even heard any of the other songs that I'm sold on it already. Wow. What a terrific time. What a ter- I hope whoever dropped something in the construction site across the street is okay, but... Oh. This is what I'm talking about, man. This is the summer release season in a nutshell for me. This, this is the most exciting time of the year for me because summer brings about the brightest, poppiest music from so many different artists and I crave that stuff, man. But hey, hey, what this does really well is it's just simple. They don't complicate things with, you know, maybe like a sudden drop or an anti-drop they don't complicate things with additional instruments they don't complicate things by having a dramatic break in the middle it's just we're gonna hit play on the song we're just gonna run with it and that's what they do and they run with the song so well and honestly like say what you will about the uh the way Pledis operates their groups um Especially their girl groups. <clears throat> From us nine, <clears throat> please. Oh, I say that because I'm a very passionate From us nine fan now. But Plutus understands what music they need for their groups. I will give them that. The music sense that Plutus has, and like the music team that they find for their artists. I guess with seventeen, it's a little bit easier because well, they have Uzi, but. They just understand what sound goes with what artist. It's almost like a science. Even though the girl groups don't get comebacks, but... To the beginning! This song establishes itself in a way that's really quite interesting. I mean, they do it for the MV, right? So they muffle it out until the MV allows for the song to shine. So you get this conversational kind of school chimes. You're getting the everyday like school sounds, then you replace it for the instrumental. Already at this section, da -da 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 that is not a flattering still. I'm so sorry, but da -da -da -da. they establish that bright electric guitar sound. It's quick. You know that it's quick, and that type of rhythm can only be associated with a song that is fast. Is this song fast? It's a really nice pace. Get that walking bass involved. And even though the instrumental here is more muffled than the intro, you still feel the pace. Get the hi-hats moving now. They bring back the exposed electric guitars, but then they add the we don't stop ad-libs, the shouting gang vocal ad-libs. I, I can already see it. I mean, I saw there was a fan chant guide there, but this is, you know, peak fan chant material here. This is the type of moment where the fans get involved with the song from the artists that they love. 
this song live, oh, the crowd getting involved would be so much fun. Building it, building it, building it, cut it, and then... It's fast, it's bright, it's loud. You can't ask for any more than this. This is the song that it established itself with. This is meant to be released during the summer season. This is quintessential summery, like, pop rock right now. And it's perfect. They embody the sound so well. That's also a cool parallel. I didn't notice that the first time around, but... They take the rhythm, the exact same rhythm, and then and carry it over. I think that's a really cool little like detail that they've carried over because they don't do it for the entire time to the point where it gets stale. They do it enough times where it's like, oh, okay, this is done with purpose. Then they reset themselves, and then, well, I guess that was the second time around, but first time around, go through that rhythm, reset, and then bring it back, reestablish that rhythm with the hey hey and they continue that three times around and then reset for the second verse i love little details like that because it makes listening to music just very interesting it's like oh i see what you did there oh i got you i'm picking up what the producers put down so. this this is this is this is a winner right here <sighs> yeah they very much are becoming what the wind were to me last year they are they uh were a rookie boy group well i guess they still are a rookie boy group i don't actually know when they debuted last year but they debuted last year with a terrifically bright song called island it's that youthful bright slightly synth heavy yeah i'd say slightly synth heavy song and but they just instilled this really bright sense of almost satisfaction for me because i was craving that kind of useful just bright boy group pop music at the time tws are very much bringing that exact same sensation to the table for me this year and i love that the fact that you know plot twist was terrific that's actually putting it that's an understatement plot twist was unbelievably good it still is one of my top boy group debuts from this year and it's been a few months now not to say the others aren't any good, but that's just how much I love Plot Twist. But Hey Hey has essentially shown me that they can show, they can harness that useful bright energy. They can spin it in a different direction, but they can still make it so them. They can bring fun, useful music back. I love that for them. I love that for me. I love that for all everyone out there who loves like the bright cheesy pop music, man, because we are feeding and well whenever the um the full release comes out, you bet your ass we're gonna check out the title track and the rest of the B-sides as well. But that is gonna be it from me today. Thank you all for watching along with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. One last request from me today, let's work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world. Whether it be checking with your friends and family, holding the door open for somebody, even picking up a piece of trash off the street. Just one small act of kindness that'll be brightening up someone else's day to day. And know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life, for whatever reason it may be. Even though I'm just some guy in the internet who waffles about music in his free time, know that I will always be a friend, an ally, and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!